Yo, yo, what is up, guys? So, um, I was on some wiki, and I found out that you can do a wee glitch here. So, you see, I'm laying a breadcrumb, and with breadcrumbs, right, you start on the road, and then you place a little trail of breadcrumbs, and then you end on another road. Um, this trick allows you to start a breadcrumb from a breadcrumb and finish it on a breadcrumb. So, here I am in edit... Uh, terrain along track and you can actually edit terrain along the breadcrumb as we're doing uh, very important you save the game when your edit terrain cursor is on the breadcrumb okay that's done sorry for playing in German now that we've saved what we do is we go back to breadcrumbs and you see we can now move this breadcrumb cursor along the breadcrumb very very cool I'm now starting a breadcrumb from the breadcrumb and it goes green shows you that I can have a breadcrumb starting on a breadcrumb and ending on a breadcrumb. If you haven't played this game, um, breadcrumbs are just little shortcuts that you can add to your track. Um, currently they're invisible because I haven't you know, marked anywhere on the grass to show you where you're allowed to drive. Um, so in create mode I can see that I've got these little orange dots with arrows telling you where it's legal to drive. But anyway, so I've just saved that. Um, one thing to note is you can't start a breadcrumb using this trick from a breadcrumb and end it on the road. You have to start and finish your secondary breadcrumb from the original breadcrumb. Okay, okay, here we go. We're back in the editing terrain tool. This is, you know, edit terrain along track. I'm now going to spray uh, the grass. As I said, the, um, you know, if you were to play this race right now, the breadcrumb is invisible. Here's me making it visible, because I've just marked it on the ground, so you can now see where it is. Um, note that I can't um, mark the ground along the secondary breadcrumbs, because, I mean, they're not meant to be there. You're not meant to have these secondary branching breadcrumbs. Yeah, uh, cool thing. So this is the, the auto-populate tool. Um, as you can see, when you're on the road um, with the auto-populate tool, you're not meant to be able to take this tool onto the breadcrumb, but you're allowed to take the edit terrain along track tool onto the breadcrumb. So we take this edit terrain along track tool onto the breadcrumb. For some reason it snapped onto the secondary breadcrumb. I don't know why that happened and I wasn't able to replicate this, but very cool. So when we have our edit uh, terrain along track tool active, on a breadcrumb, we save the game, and then we uh, navigate through the menus straight to the, um, what's it called? Uh, sorry. Auto populate tool, that's right, yeah. Um, oh, I'm doing something else, cool, yeah. Now that, <laughs> now that the, the game just randomly gave me a chance to um, mark the ground where the secondary breadcrumb was, I took that chance, took that opportunity, so I've now sort of marked where that secondary breadcrumb is, but it's kind of glitching. Cursor keeps snapping back to the road, which is kind of funky. But yeah, the exciting thing about this is, so you see my big asphalt track going around the outside. Um, you know, if I'm lazy and I don't want to decorate it myself, I could use the auto-populate tool and take that green paintbrush, paint the asphalt, and the game would automatically stick a bunch of props in. Um, you're not usually allowed to use this tool on the breadcrumbs, but you see, I am. I am using it on the breadcrumbs. And I've just painted that bit green. Um, and for some reason it decorated the first chunk of the track and added one prop to that secondary breadcrumb. But it also added some 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 long grass on the breadcrumb, so that's interesting. Right now I'm showing you how this tool is actually meant to work. You see I've just highlighted all the asphalt with the auto-populate tool, and for some reason it was happy to add some item pods there, add um, some item pods there, put a couple panels on the ground there, item pods there, but it didn't really decorate it, which is interesting. It, see the way it had added um, trees, signs, and houses? That's what it's meant to do. Um, but it, for some reason, just failed to do that. But yeah, 
we take this tool uh, so yeah we're back in the edit terrain along track uh, cursor because this is the only cursor you can snap onto a breadcrumb we save the game now that our cursor is on the breadcrumb once the game is saved we go back to the menu and we navigate straight towards the auto populate tool and now the auto populate tool is snapped to the breadcrumb and we can highlight this breadcrumb look at us go auto populating the breadcrumb yay we just added trees fence some long grass very cool and some random hills cool um, no, the uh, no those hills, the banks at either end of that uh, main breadcrumb. Uh, prob were probably added when I highlighted the the main asphalt track because it often adds banks around the main track when you do that. Um, yeah, so I forgot to remove this fence, <laughs> so you can't really get onto the breadcrumb because of the fence in the way. I fixed it in a second, but for now I just. Hit that kaboom button, blow myself up. But yeah, look at us. We're on the breadcrumb, and we have auto populated it, and we have added branching breadcrumbs. Neither of those things are possible. I should say, by the way, um, I. I mean, I read about this on the wiki, and then I just booted Modern Nation up to test it. Um, I'm doing this on the like the release version of the game because I have this game on disc I don't have a digital copy and you know every time I boot up the game it's like would you like to update to the newest version and I'm like no because in the newest version everything's probably patched out but I haven't tested so someone else can do that here's me deleting fences just deleted some fences so now that breadcrumb should be more accessible in the race and we're back in the race cool 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 yeah so um I don't know if I can be bothered testing this in the updated patched version of the game. But yeah, look how cool this is. Yo. Now we can auto populate breadcrumbs. I don't know why it will be the default feature in the game. It really should be. Because this is just this is cool. This is cool. Also, pretty sure yeah, that's right. When I was doing this, I stopped here and went back, and I was trying to work out where the branching breadcrumbs were, because once we use the auto-populate tool to put that fence, those trees, and that grassy bank there, and this big sign with the arrows, so it was quite hard to spot. But thankfully, I did manage to mark it on the ground, so you can see the, the light sandy color of the terrain there. I fell off. Cool. But yeah, I did find it. Branching breadcrumb is there, and it does work. So that's pretty cool and wild. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Pretty sure I just finished the race um, to the total of six people who see this. Um, I've got something big in the works. I'm planning on making a big definitive Modern Nation races glitches, tricks, shortcuts, exhibition, tutorial type video, and it's going to be a million hours long and it's going to have everything, it's going to be so comprehensive, okay cool, see ya.